last looked at. How long have you been sitting there? Not long, Mr. Kelso. You look lovely, princess. You haven't exactly caught me at my best. Hey, Miss Lichtman. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. Please, call me Elsa. Okay, Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. Call needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize for... You don't have to apologize. You were right about Alicia Fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. He built sets for RKO, Warner Brothers. Set carpenter? Perfect. If you don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. <coughs> I've got a lot more dots to join, and it's making my head hurt. That's perfectly understandable, Mr. Jack. I hope we can meet again under less dramatic circumstances. I hope so too, Princess. I'd like that. You Kelso? Who's asking? <laughs> yeah, I was Peterson, gonna say, who's asking? Assistant DA. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something about... There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. First they send you over a drink, then they buy you dinner, then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. I'm going to run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get 150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's going to get me elected. I've got something better. How about Leland Monroe? The property developer? You think I fell down the stairs? Hello everybody, Horfade here. Welcome back to Ellie Noir. We are back as Jack Kelso. I'm trying continuing onwards. I don't know how much is left. Uh, but we are nearing the end of the game. We'll see how much is left, but we're continuing onwards. Thanks for the patch-up, Princess. Might be the only R&R &R I get for some time. Wow, yeah, a cop. I'm looking to see if there's a newspaper here. That's why I'm kind of wandering around a bit. But I don't see any newspaper, so let's continue onwards. Everybody is Jack still. And nothing here. Man, yeah, we're still playing as Jack. I kind of expected us to switch back to Cole. I don't remember this part of the game super well. Newspaper, newspaper, new uh, newspaper. Not a newspaper I can examine. Apparently. It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot looking around for a newspaper. Because uh, we're nearing the end on those, but still. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I do not remember this case super well. Uh, I think we definitely do some fucking shooting <laughs> near the end. Like middle and end, we definitely do some shooting, that's for sure. I do remember that much from this case. Also, my shirt's fucking... <laughs> shirt's kind of loose. It feels kind of big. It's like, why is my shirt feel big? <laughs> Don't like it. Boom. 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 
Number two. I don't think we have any clues unless we have some left over. Inferior Lumber and Redevelopment Fund. Okay. We do have Inferior Lumber Redevelopment Fund. Okay. We do have those two. But, yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. Now looking for apartment number two. Two is this way. Knock, knock. Remember me? Jack. It's good to see you. Uh-huh. You caught me at a slightly inopportune moment. Can we do this some other time? No! Move away from the door. Jack, there's no call for that. Yes, there is. You're smooth, Curtis. I'll give you that. You try to get me killed and you still manage to be polite about it. Jack, how could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. Who do you think you are? Give it up or I beat it out, out of you. Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted the passive options. <clears throat> Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. And if you fucking move, I'll beat you down again. Okay? <sighs> anyway, so... Okay. Some alcohol. Okay, nothing important there. Let's find this door! How old are you, princess? Sixteen, mister? Excuse me, what the fuck? I'm sorry, I think the beating uh, will have to go. Really? Nearly thirteen. The beating will have to to start now. You take love where you can find it as you get older. Love? That has nothing to do with love, Curtis. Yeah, Curtis, you're your about to... Romantic notions endearing, Jack. I find them very tough. I'm going to beat the shit out of you. You're finished, You fucking Chris. pedophile. That remains to be seen, Jack. Would you... I haven't told you about my new job, Curtis. DA's investigator. Who do you think the DA reports to, Jack? Get the fuck out of here, lady. Getting out of here. He's not so bad. Get the fuck he out. Lays on top of me and grunts for a few minutes. <laughs> he buys me nice things. Get the get fuck dressed, out. You're leaving. And don't get involved with people like him again. She will only come back. And I'll beat the shit out of you. And opening this up. Really nothing here. Really nothing in this room other than that. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? I expect to find something. I didn't expect to find you being a pedophile, but okay. Ooh, what is this? Share certificate. Get all of the stockholders. I need to follow the paper trail. Curtis Harbor's bed to two thousand. Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. California Fire and Life. Get out while you can. Uh, and sure, Silesian Fields is against all losses or damages occurring to Rancho Escondido. Curtis. Now I know why. Do -do -do. I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. Uh, it's been a few days since I played this, so I'm going to need to... Uh, sorry if I fuck up. I need a little bit of a fresher. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. Liar? But I don't know what evidence... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fourth 
thousand to her and all and shares at Hunter's eat made out of curse pension. Do I present the share certificate? You're lying, Curtis. Something happened at the company, didn't it? That's why you took the bribe. Bribe? What bribe? How can you accuse me of benefiting ahead of the company? The share certificate? Sorry, it's been a while. Sorry if I had, I'm not correct on this. I noticed that the share certificate is your name, Curtis, not the company's. What did you use as collateral? Those sons of bitches in Sacramento. They passed me over for president. Sent me here because they believed it was a backwater, but they were wrong. Los Angeles will become the capital of the West, not San Francisco. This place will be the city of the 20th century. And I'm going to get my cut, Jack. You're going to jail, Curtis. You and your cronies. You're going to jail for being a pedophile, we'll along with that. a lot of other stuff. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. That's not what they are. Um, to meet the demand. Oh, wait a minute. You're lying, Curtis. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do you prove that, Jack? Well, <sighs> the insurance agreement, correct? Rancho Escondido burnt to the ground. California Fire and Life is carrying the paper. Jack, the best result you could get from insurance would be replacement cost. The stakes are much, much higher. My brain's going big today. Why the big payoff in the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lickman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack, taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choice of building materials? You smug son of a bitch. You're lying again. It's an insurance scam, pure and simple. And how do you prove that, Jack? My assessors wrote the policies on the houses. I only approve the Damn it. Uh, oh, right. The Shit. Stand. This doesn't come back to me. Ah, uh, probably should have doubted. Very neat, Curtis. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. Your card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Yeah, yeah, Your yeah. California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all. Goodbye. Anyways, fuck up on the last question. Uh, probably can I blame it on it being a while since I recorded? Uh, even though it's all be uploaded very shortly after the last ones. Um. <laughs> like for you guys, it'll be very shortly. For me, it's been like two days. Two or three days? <laughs> Since I left recorded. Christ. I'm just looking at my cat down there. Look at my cat comes up here and starts messing with the cord. That'll be a problem. All right. I'm no, just going up to my office party. Got to check over some files. Take the elevator. First door on the right when you come out. You know the way, Elsa. I don't. I really don't. Elevator first door on the right. Got it. That price is outrageous. Elevator first door on the right. Here's the elevator. Boom. And then first door on the right when you come out. Okay. So, Curtis, 
What is it you don't want them to see? Use it to read entry to the okay. Can I look at this please? Thank you. Birth land value. Ooh. Insured replacement value for the house is nine hundred dollars. Current value of the house and land is thirty five hundred. Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? Okay, flip. I mean, play for the infield bound. Do, 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 do. There's got to be more in these files. Is he pinning this guy? Yeah. There's something else in that report. I know it. Lease and fields development property holder. Do, 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 do. Please uh, Normandy's. Thirty-four degrees, four minutes, yeah. twenty-nine seconds north. Hundred and eighteen degrees, seventeen minutes, fifty-eight seconds west. Okay. I have a detective Phelps of the LAPD here to see you. Oh you're finally seeing me, Phelps. Jeez. Finally seeing me. Where's the go between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that private dick Petter actually work on anyone, Kelso? Not your style. You were always a little more direct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? Chuck on the shoulder, shot of Semperfy. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Why do you want my help? I thought a PI might be a little more discreet. Well, look how I that turned out. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. Sorry to hear that, Jack. Sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology, Cole? It's a feeble attempt at one, yes. Look, Jack, it's a murder case, and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with the Lesion Fields developments? They're in it somehow. The flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. They're boosters. Stiffing GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw-up house. Yep. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me? This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Look, Jack, I'm sorry. But if not for me, do it for some of the poor sacks who are dying. Or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. How about it, Jack? I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that metal on Sugarloaf. The metal you think you didn't deserve, but you yep. just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you could turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. I guess I have. Can you help me, Jack? I'm thinking about it. The Hall of Records is the place to start. To the Hall of Records, yay! God, went there back in the Black Dahlia case, yikes. Now we're back. Hall of Records, 10, 15 a.m. All right. Hello there. The Land Registry Office, where is it? Just up the stairs. Thanks. Up the stairs at Land Registry Office. Oh, and yep, take the land registry, yep, cool. This is not the way to go. Where am I going? Uh, do we need to go? Oh, hello sign that pointed places. Did that mean around the corner? Yeah. I'd like to see the company details of the suburban redevelopment fund. Certainly, sir. Just this way.
<sighs> All those suburban sons of bitches ought to be listed in here. <laughs> Heard me develop fun. Leon Monroe. Leon Monroe. Monroe. Dr. Fontaine and C. Sheldon. Hey! Courtney. For God's sake. What's he got to do with this? Curtis Benson. I'd like information on a plot of land. Okay, do you have the address? Not exactly. It's a new lot. I have the coordinates. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. All right, that makes it a bit more difficult. Come with me. I believe that is in the Wilshire area. Okay, what was it? 4 degrees. 4 minutes. 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. 17. And then I'll just say 58 seconds west. Do, do, do. Legion law number 187. Got it. Unfortunately, that is just the beginning. We have at least a million lot numbers in the Los Angeles area. The registrations are in alphabetical order. You need to convert your lot number to a letter. <sighs> How do I do that? Over here. Use this adding machine. Got it. There are 90,000 entries in the book. So divide your lot number by 90,000. Divide the lot number by 90,000. Okay. What? <laughs> Yay! All right, hold on. Moment. Just so that I don't have to constantly look at the fucking book again. <laughs> Quickly write that down. One eight seven six Move. nine eight eight divided One, by ninety thousand eight yes. seven six nine eight eight. Divided by nine D thousand. So that's three extra. Eight hundred seventy six thousand nine hundred and eighty eight divided by ninety thousand. Twenty. Twenty. A starts at zero, so you want to add one to your number. Twenty-one. Twenty. That number is your letter of the alphabet. You have the letter, find the right aisle, you are in business. 21. Okay. You do this every day? Okay. 20, so 21. God. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U. U. U? Mason Fields. One eight seven six nine eight eight. The book value is three fifty. The new home in place, the improved value of the property is thirty five hundred. They can make a killing. How do they pull it off? Oh, for fuck's sake! Yep, knew it. Here we go. Do I have pump for the caddy? The extra trunk space. Well, if I One thing you learn in the war, boys, you do your talking once the smoke clears. Okay, do not let them get around me like this. Throw out the guns. Come on, don't let them walk around me too much. 
Yes, we did need to come down here. How can I help? Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. What are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Courtney! Jack, I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack. I have no idea. Then your fucking friend, Dr. Harlan Fontaine, is there. Harlan. Some pretty interesting company. The mayor, the district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it, but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. And people started dying. And that's what's happening. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into And now the houses are burning! Something that's going to help out the guys. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Say it isn't so. Harlan's a good doctor. A good one. Yeah. He helps out a lot of people. Good? Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. Elsa's apartment, 6 p.m. I hear the phone! Where is it? Jack Kelso! Who's asking? Leland Monroe. Of I was wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. Ah. Well, you would, Mr. Monroe, but I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea. You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? You're a very witty man, Kelso. Substantially better. I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. Come? I might. Good night, Mr. Monroe. Get a call, Phelps, about this? Meet Leon Monroe. Oh boy. Alright, time to go shoot up the place. <laughs> there is, it is not gonna be peaceful at all. We are gonna shoot the fuck up out of the place. <laughs> We're gonna go in and shoot the place up, and that is what is gonna happen. <laughs> Leon Monroe's Mansion, 11 p.m. Yep. I 
appreciate the help, all of you. We can reminisce later. I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. These guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's okay, Jack. We all feel the same way. This hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the red. All right, let's go. Get in the fucking cover. Two of them on your right. Guy there. Come on. Get up here, get into this cover, and then I will destroy your fucking property, Mr. Monroe. Move up, move up, move up. Alright, man, hold the perimeter. I got personal business with Mr. <sighs> Where are they? How many shots? Stay down, damn it! All right. Reload. Kick open the door. If you pick up a gun, I will shoot you. Very sweet looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, princess? You're quite the wise guy. Don't normally shoot women, princess. How about putting the cannon down? Up oh, there's my hat. My hat was gone, now it's back on. That's... <laughs> Didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. I was never very good at reading women. Monroe! Where are you, damn it? Okay. Where are they? Keep on going, Jack. I hear them, they're getting ready. It's kind of fucking dark over here. Who's here? Who's in the bathroom? No one? Are we all good? Don't you fucking dare. Yeah, Calso. That's my opening negotiating position. <coughs> yep. Who oh, you crazy son of a bitch? How did you get in here? Shooting all of your men dead. That's I'm how. bleeding to death. Get me a doctor. No. <laughs> I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. 
That's my second offer. You sadistic bastard. What do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. Yeah, you're going to tell me after I look at the newspaper. What's this? Ooh. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. That it corrupts. Fuck you, Jack. Ah, call me an ambulance already. No. Suburban Redevelopment Fund promises 10,000 new homes. I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down. Please. Sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please, Courtney. Uh, Courtney went straight so to him after getting angry. They're going to be burned for the insurance. That's a scandalous allegation, Courtney. Do you have any proof? This fucking guy. Jack Kelso, an investigator for California Fire and Light, has seen him. He was almost killed when he found out. I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? Jack says it's a property developer named Monroe. He said it goes all the way to the mayor. Oh, God. Corny, you get the fuck out of here. I don't know what to believe about that. I hope that you weren't. Thank you for your trust. Be still, Courtney. All of your troubles are finally over. Let them go. Courtney's gonna fucking die. Drift away. Oh boy. Roy Earl. That's a hell of a payroll. Roy Earl twice. At three times actually on here. Jeez. Certainly job and fun. I'm guessing Vincent's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. Harbor of Police. Black Island on Dana is implicated in fine distribution of narcotics in the greater LA County. In his capacity as a clinical scientist, he has spent large quantities of counter and morphine drug pay dealers and used in pretext for treatment for his patients. In July 18, September 3, 1947, 22 suspects directed for narcotic possession and charged for medication given to them, alleviated some various psychiatric illnesses. I showed paperwork to this effect. No parents noticed by arresting officers, however, no further action were taken. Each charge to no more than a misdemeanor and suspects were processed four separate divisions. At a lengthy interrogation, suspect Ray Raikland Barclay. Reginald Barclay offered the name of an associate and used Dr. Fontaine. Barclay said that Fontaine's selling party in the deal he brokered with Willie Baines Foster. I just know the LAPD Mr. Advice hiring a courier for Mayor Harris Conan. Or Meyer Harris Conan. August 29th, again on December 6th, then again on September 12th, Dr. Fontaine visited a men's haberdashing on a boulevard known to be operated by Meyer Harris Cohen. On all three games, Dr. Fontaine was inside for more than an hour. Two days after his final visit on September 14th, shipping a more female street value of 4000 from a house and went to an East Downtown warehouse where it disappeared. Is the opinion of the officer, Dr. Fontaine, a significant figure Zero in the Fontaine supply and, and distribution of narcotics on Austin? As a close tie to organized crime, recommend they kept under close tie until such time as Conrad's legal group can be assembled. Yours sincerely, Roy Earl. Desk. What do you got in here? 
Hello. Sawyer. Hello. That's some sold up. Morelli yeah, Stephens. And then they burn the fucking houses down. Stephen Sawyer. Can't be stopped, Do -do -do. There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Now people are dying. Have some fucking mercy. Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. <laughs> Thank God. Where? Fontaine. Dead? My oh, Dr. Bitch. Fontaine is dead. So that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating. You want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He did whatever Fontaine asked. He had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and then a he went off the roll. rails. I don't have a fucking name. He worked at the bug sprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor. Get it yourself. Crawl over to the fucking phone. Get it your fucking self. A polite invitation. Do, 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 do. The suburbia girl invented this man. We would fast I think it was supposed to be down on the last question, but we did it. We did good. That'll be it for now. Next time, I believe next time is the final case of the game. So next time should be the end of the game. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next part, which should be the end of the game. I hope you have a good day.